Dear student, greeting of the day. I am Dr. Shilpi Jain, Associate Professor, Purnima College of Engineering, Jaipur. Welcomes you all my lecture on the topic algebraic structure. This topic comes under Unit 4 of Discrete Mathematics Structure subject. This subject is taught in Computer Science and Engineering branch in 4th semester under RTU syllabus. I am going to cover the following concept of topic under RTU syllabus. Algebraic structure play an important role in computer science and application in computer techniques dealing with problems in operation research, graph theory and relational database. They also have found application in the study of crystals in physics. The important structures that are discussed in this lecture are semigroup, monoid, groups and abelian groups and some properties which are commutative property, inverse property, identity property, associative property and closure property. First we start with the definition of operation. Let A be a non-empty set AB belongs to A B its element an operation denotes as star is a rule to associate the element a b the resulting element is denoted as a star b now what is closure property a set a with respect to operator star is set to satisfy closure property if for any a b belongs to a then a star b is also belongs to a then the property is satisfied. We use closure property in the algebraic structure. If a set A with respect to operator star satisfy the closure property, then it is called algebraic structure. Let checks check set of natural number for addition operator is an algebraic structure or not. Let take an example. If A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3 and the given operation is addition for natural number then 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 is also belongs to set of natural number. Therefore natural number N is algebraic structure for the given operator addition. Now what is associative property? An operation star defined on the elements of a set A is said to be associative for any three elements belongs to A. We have A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. We use associative property in semi-group. If a algebraic structure satisfy the associative property is called a semi-group. Means what? If a set satisfy closure property as well as associative property, then the set is called semi-group with the given operation. For example, the set of natural number. The set of natural number with respect to the operator addition is a semi-group because in the previous example, we saw if A is equal to 2 and B is equal to 3, then 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 is all holds the closure property as well as if we take 3 elements. Suppose A is equal to 2, B is equal to 3 and C is equal to 4. Then this is also hold the associative property for the, give, uh, for the oper operator addition. The next example the set of real number R is a semi group with respect to addition. The set of square matrices of order n is a semi-group with respect to matrix multiplication. These are the examples of semi-group. Now we discuss the identity property. An operation star defined on the elements of a set A is set to satisfy identity property if for any A belongs to A there is an element E such that a star E is equal to A is equal to E star A. That means if we operate any element to element E of a set 
and resulting element is the same element then is called the identity element of that set and identity element is always unique for the given operation identity element not change for the uh, set under the given operation he it should always unique we use identity property in monoids if a semi group satisfy the identity property then it is called monoid means what is semi group semi groups hold closure property associative property identity property then monoid satisfy the identity property then it is called monoid for example the system n plus is not a monoid with respect to addition why as it does not contain identity element 0 for addition next example the set of real number the set of real number with respect to the given operation addition is monoid because we take if two elements in the set of real numbers then always for the given operation addition belongs to r that's why the set r for the operator addition is monoid the next property is inverse property an operation is start defined on the element of a set a is set to satisfy inverse property if for any element belongs to a there exist an element b such that a star b is equal to e is equal to b star a then b is set to inverse of a that means if we operate to element of set a and resulting element comes identity then both elements is set to the inverse of each other now definition of group this is very important uh, the definition of group if a monoid satisfy the inverse property then it is called group we discussed about monoids what is monoids monoids holds first closure property then associative identity also and group hold inverse properties as well that means if a monoid satisfy the inverse property then it is called a group for example the set of real numbers r is a group with respect to addition if we take any real numbers in a group and we add both of them then the resulting elements is also the set of real belongs to set of real numbers that's why groups hold all the four properties and r plus is a group the set of integer z is a group with respect to addition now commutative property an operation is star defined on the elements of a set a is set to satisfy commutative property if for any element ab belongs to a we have a star b is equal to b star a if commutative property holds in a group then it is called abelian group means a group hold closure property associative property identity property as well as inverse property then we say uh, the set is group for the given operation here if a group satisfy the commutative property also then it is called abelian group for the given operation for example the set of real numbers r is an abelian group with respect to addition we saw r is a group with respect to operator addition and r hold commutative property with respect to addition operator that's why the set of real number is an abelian group with respect to addition now next example is the set of integer z is an abelian group with respect to addition here uh, we discussed all about the abel uh, group monoid subgroups and abelian groups if 
all five properties hold then we say the set is abelian group for the given operation thank you